Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode. I'm actually currently driving along the beach to get to my favorite spot to go diving. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful day today. The past week's been awesome, phenomenal for diving. Uh, it's been really, really low swells and really, really clear water. So I'm hoping to get in today. The swell's up just a tiny bit more, but it doesn't really phase me. Today's target species are gonna be lobster, obviously, and also black drummer, uh, rock drummer. They're really, really good fish to shoot, really, really good fish to hunt. So I'm gonna show you a few techniques today on hunting some black drummer, as well as other fish if I get the opportunity. Hopefully it's good where we're going. Strap in. So today, it's really, really flat swells down again and the water's quite clear. I'm going to run through a few tips and techniques for shooting drummer. Uh, sometimes they can be quite an elusive fish to actually spear, sometimes they can be quite easy. It really just depends on the day, the weather and obviously the swell. Guns away. So the first place that you can usually find drummer uh, in an ocean environment are caves. And as you can see, I'm going to point to one right now. Most caves that drummer actually live in have two entrances. So they've got a front entrance and a back entrance. What I usually do is I'll scout both entrances. Even if I do see a drummer at the front, I'll usually go around and see their escape route as well. That gives you a rough idea of where the fish is going to flee to if they do see you through the front entrance when you do take a shot. So after looking in the first drummer crack and around the back, there's actually another cave that presents itself further back from the first one. Uh, this crack that I'm actually diving in right here presents no option for the fish than to go past me in order to escape, which is a good option. Uh, right here you can see the back end of the second cave that I'm pointing at. I'm just really trying to relax, keep the fish quite calm uh, because they do get quite flighty underneath the cave. I'll take a dive in a short moment here and you'll be able to see what's underneath. As you can see there wasn't much in the second cave so I've gone back to the first cave to try my luck and as you can see there is a drummer lying in there. My approach is quite quiet, I don't make any sudden movements just to keep the fish happy and I'll put in a good headshot. Now, a good thing to remember with this style of cave diving for drama is not to shoot out of your depth. If you try to shoot a fish out of your depth and it gets stuck in a cave and you can't reach it after you've been exhausted from the few dives previously that you've taken to get the fish, you shouldn't take the shot. Um, it does get quite dangerous after a while cave diving for drama like this unless you know what you're doing and make sure not to dive out of your depth. So another important thing to keep in mind when diving for drummer in caves is to take your approach quite slowly down to the bottom. 
um, as you can see no sudden movements as I'm going down you can see that I actually look away for a few seconds and then look back so eyes are a main factor for drummer if they see your eyes they will become way more flighty so on your approach down if you can try look away as you're going down to the cave it really does help in keeping the drummer occupied and kind of not flighty So after shooting drummer in caves comes shooting drummer in cracks. This particular crack is a vertical crack and it is loaded with drummer. One of the hard things about shooting drummer is usually the big ones will hide all the way at the back and the little ones will get pushed forward. Same as lobsters, which is quite funny. Uh, as you can see, I take a good shot on a big nice specimen. Uh, the shot is a bit low, but I do manage to get him out of the crack here. Also with shooting drummer in vertical cracks, it does present a good opportunity to shoot a bit more out of your depth as you can pull the fish up and out of the crack. A bit harder than actually shooting into a cave and having to pull the fish at a 90 degree angle from the cave in and out. As you can see, good drummer and another one on the table. Another telltale sign that rock drummer are in the area is if you do see a blue grouper. Blue grouper females are actually green in appearance and the males are blue. They are protected in New South Wales from spear fishermen so you cannot spear them, you can only line fish for them. As you can see I take the drop here and as to my liking blue grouper pops out of the corner there and also I see that there are two rock drummer in this cave. I line up a shot on the big one but don't take it just because I want to spear as sustainably as possible in this area so that way there's rock drummer here next time I come out. After fulfilling my quota of black drummer on the way in I couldn't help myself but to grab a few eastern rock lobsters these lobsters are usually found in cracks or just crawling on top of rocks along the east coast of Australia, but they're also found down south and a few up north. Make sure you tune in for my next video where I'll do an in-depth screening of how to actually catch these lobsters and where to look for them. That was a good cray.